Welcome back to Get Jack TV. My name is Joe, and today we are training shoulders and core, baby. So an at-home workout, we're gonna hit some weight training, some old school bodybuilding techniques so you get the aesthetics that you want. We're gonna be burning fat along the way, and of course, as promised, we're ripping up the abs and the core, all packed in. We're gonna do a multi-set superset. I'll explain as we go. We're gonna start with a very quick three-minute warm-up, though. And before we do, I wanna just say today's word of the day is resilience. You have more than you think. And so throughout this workout, use that. When you wanna stop, you wanna quit. Even if you just do one more rep and maybe you take another few seconds, or maybe you're watching this video and you're like, man, I don't, I don't wanna do a workout. I don't feel like it right now. But you're like, you know what? Resilience, I'm gonna do five minutes and then that's it for today. Whatever you can do, right? That's resilience, baby. So for today's workout, you're gonna need a chair. Make sure it's stable. If you don't have a chair, no worries. You can always do it on the ground. And of course, if you have a bench, feel free to use that. And then I'm using two pairs of dumbbells. Now, let me be clear on the weights I'm using. I'm using 20s and 30s. Now, my goal, my primary goal of the workout is to coach you. So I'm not doing a max for me. It wouldn't be possible. But also, my goal is more definition and hypertrophy at this point. So I'm gonna be doing more reps, lesser weights and of course I'm talking to you as well so pick your weights accordingly you can always use one dumbbell if, if you don't have a, whole, a big selection to make it lighter and if you need to make it harder you can always go slower all right so with that said get your Apple watches going let's get this party started we got three minute warm-up we're gonna start and we're gonna start standing soft knee bend we're gonna do pot stirs all right start like at an angle a little bit above your shoulder and start wide all right three minutes Let's do this, baby. All right, here we go. So, big postures. Three, two, one. Get really wide with it. Oh yeah, there you go. Open up, try to draw like you had a pen in your fingers and you're drawing a big circle. All right, now reverse. Try to stick the butt back. You don't need to be squatting. You can if you want, but it's just really having athletic position, all right? So you're not putting any stress on the low back. All right, now hinge of the hips. We're gonna go bent position, same idea. Now when I say hinge of the hips, that means push your butt into your hamstrings, reverse. And so you do this so that you protect your low back, because that is key. Form first, intensity second on this channel is what we focus on. Switch sides, start up top. We're gonna hit intensity, we always do. But if you're not doing it right, what does it matter? It doesn't matter. I know a lot of follow-on workouts, and especially when you're training at home, it can be tough. It can be tough to do things correctly, who's watching you, right? So, do what you feel comfortable with. And when you can push it, push it. But always be mindful of how you feel. Is it a burner or is it a pain? Bend over. Oh yeah. All right, other side. All right, cool, on your back. We're gonna warm up the core. These are called dead bugs. So, you're gonna lie on your back, chin tucked, knees over your hips, knees at 90 degrees, arms directly over your shoulders. Now, tuck your ribs down and just squeeze your abs. We're gonna hold here for a few. I want you to take your fingers and put it in the small of your low back. If your hands can go under and it's arched, then you really gotta focus on pulling your ribs down. Like try to bring your belly button to your spine. There should be no gap. And if you're having trouble with that, I want you to just hold this position, tuck that chin, make sure there's no gap. If you feel okay with it, start extending forward and back. You might need to move your chair, but you're keeping the low back engaged as you extend, all right? So only go as far as you can keep that tension. This is one of the best core exercises you can do. It works your rectus abdominis, your transverse abdominis, but mostly the transverse, the deep abs, the abs that are responsible to protect your diaphragm and your low back. All right, let's do one more. All right, good. Now, we're gonna get into a down dog position. We're gonna bend our elbows, bring the crown of our head to the ground and push up. All right, I'm just gonna take this off for a hot second. Lower down, press up. If this bothers your wrist, just stand up and press the air up and down, all right? So keep going if you're with me here, but if you're that bothering your wrist, just stand up. But like, just get a workflow. That's all we're trying to do. Don't worry how you look. 
someone walks in, they'd be like, is this Richard Simmons? What is this person working out to here? Three seconds, two, one. All right, good job. So you warm? I am. All right, now grab your chair. We got a superset. 30 seconds of each exercise, 10 second break times three. First one is an overhead shoulder press. All right, so we're just gonna sit down, tuck your ribs, press up. All right, I'm gonna show you the next exercise. Right after it's body weight, you're just gonna be on the ground, so don't worry about it. We're gonna hit the core. So 30 seconds, grab your weights. I'm gonna start with my 30s. And we're gonna hit it. Got 10 seconds. Rest as you need to, keep that chin tucked. If it going overhead bothers your shoulder, go laterally. Three, two, one. Now you want your elbows at like a 45 degree angle here. So you're not completely out, you're kind of inward. Press all the way up, extend. Now don't look up at the sky, tuck that chin. All right, try to sit up tall. Remember, if you don't have a chair, you can do this on the ground, actually. It's actually quite challenging. And of course, if you have a bench, you can feel free to do that. <sighs> ah, almost there. Three, two, one more time. All right, on your back. Got a side hollow switch. So you're on the small of your low back slash hips. You're gonna lift up both shoulders and then switch to the other side. So you're on a side body here. Only use your core to switch. If you're having a lot of challenge here, bend your knees, okay? Key is keeping those shoulders up as high as you can. We got 10 seconds. Let's go. Five, four, three. Switch it up, two, and one. All right, good job, rest. Now, going back to the shoulder press. Set number two, here we go. In three, two, one. Keep that chest up. Chin tucks. 30 second sets go quick. I know it's burning right now, but this is our second time doing it. We only got one more time after this. Remember those elbows at a 45 degree angle. So get what you can, all right? Don't get too greedy. Don't let the ego get in charge. Folks on really good form. Good reps. Eight seconds, that could be about three reps. Five, four, three, two, and one. On the floor, we got those side hollows. So let's just stay on the left side for, for this. Shoulders up. All right, we're gonna switch halfway, but we're gonna really focus on where you should be feeling this in your top oblique. So do that, you gotta get the shoulders really, really high. The legs up as high as you can, like you're a banana switch and hold. Focus on the breath. You got this. Five seconds, four, three, two, and one. Move my mic, I don't know why. It's right up my grill. It's all good. All right, last set, let's go. Two, one. Burning. Ah, remember, good reps is better than a lot of reps. Last time with this exercise, we got 30 second break after the hollow switch. We got 10 more seconds. Stay with me. Focus on the breath, focus on your form, root your feet in the floor. We got five, four, three, one more, two and one. All right, side hollow. This time, right side, hold. We're gonna start with that hold, keep both shoulders up. Remember, you want to feel it in the top obliques. Three, two, and one. Switch. Both shoulders up now. As much as you can. We got 10 more seconds. Stay in it. You're almost there. Focus on your breath. Five, four, three, two, and one. Woo! All right, good job. Set one is done, baby. Now, we're going back to the chair. We got seated lateral raises, and I'm gonna keep this thing on because it's a pain in my butt. So, we're gonna sit down, chest tall, don't lean all the way back, lateral raise. I'll show you the second exercise as we go. I'm gonna use my lighter weight for these, all right? If you only have, like, if the weight you have is too much, then what I would suggest is 
doing half the set on one side, half set on the other. So you can maximize as many reps as you can get. Three, two, one, chest tall, go. Really unpack that a little bit. So if you have a little bit of equipment at home, you don't have a lot, then you gotta get creative, right? So to get creative, you know, if you can't do 30 seconds with 20 pounds on your left, on both arms, then do half on one arm and then the other, right? So it's the idea of doing heavier weight, uh, fewer reps. You're still challenging yourself, it's just different. Four seconds, three, two, and one. All right, on your backs, we got dead bugs. Lie flat back, opposite arm, opposite leg, just like the warm up. Kick that chair right out of the way. Here we go. Tuck that chin. Remember, it's all about the engagement of that low back. So if the low back's not engaged, no bueno. All right, so double check that. Make sure it's good. Almost there. Two and one time. Good job, guys. All right. Now, going right back into it. Three more seconds. Lateral raises, set number two. One, let's go. Now, you see me making adjustments. I try to make this as real as I can because I know working out at home is not easy. All right, that's what these follow along workouts are for. And so, when you look sometimes, you see fancy studios. Like I've done stuff with Beachbody for men's health. They're great companies, but it's not always realistic for the average person at home. You know, I want you to be able to look at your basement as a gym, as an opportunity. Three, two, one more time. All right, on your backs, dead bugs. Right into it. Opposite arm, opposite leg. Tuck that chin. Focus on the breath. Head is flat. Make sure you're breathing belly to spine. Almost there. Only one more round after this. Remember, these go by quick. So while in the middle of it, it's burning, it's hard. Just keep that in mind. Focus on your breath. Three, two, and one. All right, guys, we got one more set here. Let's do this. Lateral raises. Three, two, one. Chest tall, let's go. Keep that chin tucked. Oh yeah. Nice and tall chest. Focus on your posture. All right. You're almost there. It's the last time doing this exercise. Keep working. Eight. Ah. Four. Three. Two. Get one more. One more. And one. Good. All right. Right on the floor. Dead bugs. Let's go. Lie flat back. Extend, squeeze your abs, extend those arms. Belly nice and tight. Chin tucks. We got 10 seconds. Almost there. Stay in it. Four, three, two, and one. All right. Good job, guys. Set two, done. Nice job. All right, now we're gonna do thumbs up front raises. All right, so soft knee bend. We're going to just with our thumbs facing up, dumbbells facing in, or palms facing in, raise. All right, if you had neck or, or uh, shoulder issues, just go to chin height or lower. All right, don't strain it. And you can always use one dumbbell if you don't have enough variety. If you make it harder, go slower. Second exercise, pendulum plank. On your elbows, we're gonna push your hips all the way to your left and all the way to your right, all right? So grab your weights, get them ready. We got 10 seconds. You don't wanna feel anything in the low back here, so don't swing with these front raises. I recommend staggering your stance. Two, one, go. So you don't try not to rock here. It's really hard, because you're using, I don't wanna say weak parts of the shoulder, but think about it, you're holding a weight, your arm's length away from your body, going up and down, right? So that requires a lot of stability and strength, and in some cases, mobility. 10 seconds. Right, because if you got really, really tight shoulder rotator cuffs, you can only go so high. Three seconds, two, ah, one. All right, pendulum plank on those elbows, side to side. Keep the hips up high as you can. 
chin tucks. Here we go. Make this easier on the knees. So try not to like, just like shake your ass here. I know it's a goofy exercise to some extent, but you should be feeling your obliques. It's a super powerful exercise because it's working not only your deep abs, three seconds, one more, and time. So it's working your transverse abdominis, those deeper abs, that protect your little back, your diaphragm, and that really allowed for you to have a strong core. Two, one, back to the front raises. But it's also, it's what's called dynamic stability, right? So you're holding the plank as you're moving side to side, which is attacking the obliques. So it's truly a great exercise, but if you're doing it super fast and you're not feeling the connection, slow down. 10 seconds. We're almost there, come on. Two and one, all right, good. Pendulum plank, let's get into it. Side to side, nice and tight. Focus on the abs. We got 15 seconds. All right, eight, seven, keep those hips up. Five, four, three, two, one. Cool. Good job. Last set. Let's do this. Front raises. See, it goes by quick. And we're going to get one more after this. All right, two, one. The more superset that is. Hello. It's a three exercise superset. So there's that. But hey, you can do it. Remember, resilience. You got it in you all day. I mean, don't you ever wonder, it's like, when things are hitting you in the face, left and right through life, getting it from all angles, you're like, man, what the hell? When is this shit gonna be over? When is this chapter gonna be over? Five seconds. Four, three, two, and one. Well, pendulum plank. Let's go. You know, there's no answers, right? We don't know why. Sometimes we find out later. Sometimes we may never. You know, I'm, I'm a believer that if you are open, you know, it's tough in a moment, you're gonna be human, but if you're open to find the blessing, no matter what your situation is, then you'll see the payoff. Five seconds. But resilience is what powers you through. Three, two, one. So we gotta keep that going, baby. You have it in you. You have it in you. Just think about all you've accomplished to this point. Do some props, boom. All the shit you've been through in your life, you're still here. Might not have been an easy life, might not be happy where you're at, but you're still here. That's resilience, you have it. All right, three exercises. So, we got two in a chair, okay? But we're gonna, the first one is going to be an Arnold press. So it's gonna be seated, chest up, elbows tight, curl, press. Second one's gonna be a bend raise. And what I was gonna say before was, you can do this standing, but I like to go in a chair to isolate a little bit more and it takes your low back out of the equation. So you want your chest up, there should be no low back pain. All right, so Arnold press, seated or standing, bent lateral raise. And then the third exercise going to be on the floor is reverse crunches. So with these, it's good to have something behind you so that it's like kind of heavy. So like maybe your chair or bench, whatever, or a weight, knees are bent, lift up, one, two, three, back down slow. What I mean by one, two, three is lift your knees as high up as you can, doesn't matter how high, just do your best with it, and then three second descend, and then right back up. You don't wanna be swinging your legs here, all right? So, Arnold press, I'm gonna hit my 30s. We got 10 seconds to get into position. If you have shoulder issues and going overhead bothers them, then just do curl, up and down, then lateral raises. Let's go. Curl, press. You thought you were doing your presses, didn't you? Gotcha. You can always do this one dumbbell as well if you have limited selection. All right, we got 15 seconds. Come on. Come on. Five, four, let's go. One more. Three, two, and one. All right, I'm gonna go a little lighter here. We got those bent lateral raises. So hinging back, even though we're seated, lateral raise, chin tucks. Now, anytime you're working your shoulders, you have to be careful not to strain your neck, all right? 
So you try to keep a neutral position, like there's an apple under your chin, look straight ahead, 10 seconds. Give the range, do, do the range of motion that your body's allowing you. Don't try to force it, especially with weight. Five seconds, three, two, give me one more. One on your backs. So knees are bent. We're going to go up as high as we can, down slow. So remember, we're not picking here. You don't get to, I'm sorry, but we're not giving out prizes for how high your hips get. It doesn't matter. We're giving out prizes for form. <laughs> for what everybody wants, right? We're almost there. Come on, baby. The last superset. You got this. Ah, come on, baby. Finish. Five, four, three, two, one. One down. All right, let's go. Get into position. Ready to go. Ten seconds. Come on. Clock's giving me trouble today. Here we go. In three, two. Arnold press. One. Let's go. Very manageable. Write these at-home workouts. I don't know where you're coming into it. Maybe you're someone who's just getting started and you're overwhelmed. That's normal. Starting anything's overwhelming. So you're like, there's so much I gotta do. How the hell can I, can I get there? I feel you. But the only way to get there is one step at a time, right? It's like that famous cliche, how do you eat an elephant? One bite at a time. Five seconds. Three, two, give me one more. One, that'll raise. I'm sorry, bent lateral raise, that's a key one. Because now we're hitting more posterior delt. Almost there. Going right back to that reverse crunch after. Quick break. We got one more round. Oh yeah, by the way, there's a finisher today. But hey, one more rep. Two and one. Look, my favorite theory is, if you showed up and you're able to hit play, then you can do anything here. So don't hold back. Whew. Nice and slow. Abs tight. Head flat. Seven seconds. Got this. Four, three, two, and one. One more, baby. Let's go. Come on, Arnold Press. We got this. We got this. We find power as we go. So that's what resilience gives us. Two, one. Sure, it takes, right? It takes energy, it takes sacrifice, it takes time to keep going. But when you come out the other side, and you've already done more than you probably wanted to at this point. How good does that feel? <clears throat> doesn't, be doesn't get better. 10 seconds. Three, two, one more time. All right, let's go. Let's get those lateral bend raises. Remember, don't worry so much about range of motion. I'm telling you, I get probably about 30, 40, uh, a 30, 40 degree. And man, it's, it's perfect. It's nice and slow and controlled. You wanna feel the back of your shoulders. Keep that chest up, not dive down. Three seconds, two, give me one more. Oh yeah, all right, here we go. On your back. All right, now for this one. Lift your knees up as high as you can. Tuck the chin, the knees bent, squeeze those abs. Up and down. We got 10 seconds. Remember, don't worry about swinging your legs. Let uh, up your abs contraction. Three, two, and one. Booyah. Good job. All right, you ready? You ready for this? We got a finisher. Nice and simple. We're gonna do side reverse crunches. So like we just did, except knees angling to one shoulder at a time. 20 seconds. Then we're gonna do the other side. Well, sorry, 20 seconds on, rest 10. Then the other side. Then you're gonna grab a weight. One weight, if you, now this one, if you need heavier, use two dumbbells. If you need lighter, use one dumbbell, all right? It's called bus drivers. 
soft knee bend, turn all the way to one side, all the way to the other, keep those arms extended, chin tucked. Each is 20 seconds on, 10 off. All right, so get into position. Smooth abs, lift up and twist those hips as much as you can. Three, two, one, right side only. All right, we're gonna go to the left, next set. Now, you might only be able to get here with your twists and your hips, that's okay. Do your best with it. Really focus on your core here. We got five seconds. Come on, three, two, one. All right, quick break, right to the other side. Focus on your breath, every rep counts. Three, two, one, go. So if you do 10 reps, which would probably be too much to do in 20 seconds, you're, not, you're going too fast. Let's just say if you do five reps, three reps or one rep, I don't really care. I just want you to do the rep, that's all that matters. Come on, Rips. Three, two, and one. All right, stand up tall, grab your weights, arms are straight. We're going side to side as much as you can. Knees bend, chest up, two, one, go. Keep those arms straight, soft knee bend. Anytime you have a weight in front of you, arms length, <clears throat> lots of control here. So try to just focus on your posture, don't strain, but keep those arms as locked as they can be. Three, two, one. All right, we got one round down. Right back side. We're gonna go reverse crunches, left side again, to start. Three, two, one. So open up and twist. Bam. You wanna feel it right in those obliques there. Almost there. Come on. Three, two, one. All right, quick break. Nice and easy, you don't have to move anywhere. Nice little break. Go to the other side. Deep breath, let's do it. Three, two, one. Keep those knees bent. Lie flat back. Ah. Come on. We got 10 seconds. Really is exaggerate that twist as much as you can. Doesn't matter how high your hips get off, you want that twist. Three, two, one. All right, we've got bus drivers. You know what we got. Two, one, let's go. I mean, we may not want to have it, but hey, it's gains, right? Gains don't come easy. Keep those arms as straight as you can. Focus on your breath. Make these easier, just hold those arms out. Have a no strain on your neck, tuck the chin. We got four. Three, one more side, two, one. All right, last round, guys. This is it. You are in and out today. Feel good about showing up. Reverse crunch, right side, two, one, go. Knees bent, lift those hips up, and twist. Ah, we got 10 seconds. Three. Two, get one more, one more. Up and hold, hold it, hold it, hold it. Five, four, three, two, one. Good. I mean, why not? We're right here. We're not going too far. All right, other side. Start with the reps. Two, one, go. Really good reps here. Come on, baby. Oh, we almost there. Yes. Five seconds. Get two more. Two, up and hold, up and hold, five, two, three, three, one. Woo. All right, bus drivers, last set. Three, two, one, let's go, arms straight. Turn, turn, abs tight, arms locked. You know you got this, all day. Keep those arms straight. Fast turns, fast turns. All right, we're doing bonus 10 seconds. Slow turns, squeeze your butt. 10, nine, no, I wanna to stop too. Keep going, Whew. but we're gonna keep going. Resilience, five, four, three, two, one. Even now, in time. Good job. Don't you feel better? 
Don't you feel better showing up and doing this? Man, you should. I feel way better now we do this together. All right, literally like two minute stretch and you're out of here. Just hang tight, do these stretches. Trust me, we're gonna go starting standing, arms all the way up, shoulders out of their sockets, fingers engaged, thumbs in, attached here, all right? So you're like, dude, my shoulders are burning, I know. Go all the way to your left. Lift your chest up, this is getting our obliques. We hit those obliques pretty good today. Pull those shoulders back, keep reaching with those pointer fingers. Focus on the breath. Slow it down. All right, other side. Feet are touching, fingers are together. Pull those shoulders back and reach. Almost there, arms straight. Three, two, and one. All right, good job. Now, we're gonna bring it right to the floor. Wrists under your shoulders, knees under your hips, right arm up, thread it, look over your shoulder. Switch. off the hook today. Some days are tougher than others. You know how that is, but know that whatever you've been through, and I know you've been through a lot, not to er eradicate or erase that. It's to recognize it, to celebrate it, because that is the resilience that's in you. And whatever you can look at and acknowledge is going to power you forward, no matter whatever you're going through right now. So keep showing up, doing your best. I'll be here to coach you every step of the way. And make sure guys, if you haven't yet, to like this video and subscribe. All right, turn on those notifications so you never miss a workout. And of course, tell friends. See you next video, comment below.